behind these bars in the city of Padua in northern Italy, prisoners craft exquisite baked treats. The bakers are hardened criminals with long prison sentences. We aren't allowed to share their names or crimes. I've been in this prison for 14 years. I'm paying for what I did back in 2008 and 2010. I used to have some real issues. I definitely made a big mistake, but I've changed and I just keep learning. For now, they're mostly baking panettone, a traditional Italian Christmas cake. The panettone from Pasticceria Giotto in the prison are some of the best in Italy. Even Pope Francis has ordered some. Said, which is not his real name, is proud of this success. He has worked here for two and a half years. We make great products, and I'm honored to be able to do this work. It does me good to put myself into my work here. Murderers, mafiosi and others who have committed serious crimes are imprisoned here. Only those with good conduct but still facing long sentences can work as bakers. Otherwise, it's not worth it to train them. The head pastry chef counts the knives at the end of each day just to be on the safe side. Here, they also learn to follow defined rules and schedules and to respect their superiors. You need to be humble, patient and ready to learn, or you won't make it far in here. And panettone does require patience. It takes 72 hours to make the yeast dough. Traditionally, candied orange peels and raisins are added, but also chocolate, ginger, figs and lavender. My favorite type is with amarena and nougat. Everyone has their favorite panettone, depending on their tastes. We make 1,400 of them a day. And their shift begins at 4 in the morning. It takes three days before the panettone is done and in its typical paper wrapping. Once they're out of the oven, Saeed and his fellow bakers hang the cakes upside down. We turn them over fresh out of the oven. That helps them keep their round shape while cooling. The inmates send their finished panettone all over the world. 100,000 a year, starting at 30 euros a piece. Pasticceria Giotto has even been hosting a cafe for a year now in the center of Padua. The company is making a profit. Almost everything here is from the prison's pastry shop. Many customers have no idea these fine treats were baked by criminals. Really nice, I don't know. Are they really, are they good paid for this? It's okay. I know the cakes were made in prison. That makes them all the better and hopefully helps the people. And besides, they're excellent quality. The inmate bakers do actually have regular employment contracts and they receive a proper salary. My wages don't just help me, I also help my family. They need the money. Many of the prisoners send a panettone home for Christmas. When I get out, I can work as a pastry baker in a pasticceria. And I'm studying at a hotel management school so I can enter that profession later. And it's not just a dream for Saeed. Very few of the former prison bakers end up returning to a life of crime. One has even opened his own pastry shop.